Now, here are the signs that he is about to diss you. More breakup clues, girl. Mm -mm. Now, my diss clues can be really obvious, or sometimes it could be subtle. So, D is for delay and defensiveness. He wants you to revolve around his schedule. He will respond back when it's convenient for him. He says that he's five minutes away. He shows up two hours later. You having a conversation on the phone. He interrupts you and said, let me call you back, but he doesn't. Instead, the next day, he will send a text saying, my bad, I got tied up. Now you start asking him questions. Oh girl, that's when that second D comes in, defensiveness. He snaps at any question that you ask him. He nitpicks on everything that you say and do so he can intentionally push your buttons so you can react out of your character and then he's going to call you crazy so he can make an excuse to walk away or give you the silent treatment. I is for impersonal and inconsistent. The telephone greeting has changed. It went from good morning beautiful to yeah or what's up. It is so much of a chore to spend time with him. And when y'all are together, he's still absent because he's busy on his phone or playing that stupid game or even working on his laptop. Then he switched from hot to cold. Now, unless he's moody and he's stressed, that's understandable. But if that's not the case, that means his thrill is gone. The chase has ended and he is bored and he's not looking for it to put in the effort to work on the relationship. Now, S is for stop and start. He would stop initiating intimacy. I mean, that sexual flame has burnt out. He would stop putting a smile on your face. So no flowers, no dining out, no gift, and not even a home-cooked meal. Mm. But he will definitely start talking about breakups in a subtle way. He will say... I don't want to hurt you. I just can't get this right. I can't make you happy. Or you deserve better. Now, the last S is selective and secretive. Now, the information that he shares with you is only 25% of the story because he does not want you to know what's going on in his life. He will secretly remove his belongings from your place, like his toothbrush and the slippers are missing, the three boxers and the, and the two pairs of ankle socks are gone. Now, here's what you want to do about it. First, I want you to breathe and stay calm. I want you to respectfully approach him. Don't do it when you're high, drunk, or when you're crying, but you have to be serious and you have to be firm and tell him, we need to talk. He may be huffing and puffing, rolling the eyes, sucking the teeth, but remember, don't let, don't let that energy throw you off course. Relax, let him know, and tell him, I feel, and fill in the blank. Either I feel hurt, I feel like I'm losing you, and I want to know where this relationship is going. You have a choice after that to decide if you want to stay and work it out or if you want to walk away. Remember, it's your free will, but it's also your peace of mind.